Today I'm going to show you how you can use Canvas Studio to upload media, specifically YouTube videos, but you can use any sort of media file and you can create quizzes for kids to work on directly in it. I will show you um, how you can analyze it as well. Um, it's very similar to Edpuzzle. There are a few differences, but I will show you how to work around those things that are different. To start, I'm in Studio. You have an option to record yourself or add a media file. You can choose to add one that you already have on your computer, or you can go to YouTube and you can find one. I'm going to pull one of my own. Once you've done this, you're going to click the three dots and say create a quiz. And this is my sample quiz. Maybe you want to call it, you know, your honors English quiz or your regular English quiz. Um, I'm going to hide my question marks and I'm going to get started. You do have the ability once it's started. So now I'm going to add in questions. So maybe at the two you minute how mark, students can only pause this. I want to add in a question. You can choose a multiple choice, a true, false, or multiple answers. Um, so let's say for true, false, did I show you how to log on yet? And we're going to say that's false. And then you can choose to give feedback if you want. Um, as well, you can add more questions. I'm not going to because this is a quick demo, but you can easily go through and continue to add some. A lot of people liked using Edpuzzle instead because it gave you the option for open-ended responses. The sample quiz does not here, but I will show you where you can put it instead to still get that kind of response. So, created my quiz here. Now I'm going to go into the assignment, so I'm in my Canvas course, I've started the assignment, I've given my kids the directions to watch the video and answer the questions that appear throughout. After the video, I want them to scroll down to see these wrap-up questions. You do not need to have wrap-up questions. This is how I get around not being able to add short response questions. So that's my workaround for that. So we're going to come up here to the one that looks like a plug you are going to select Canvas Studio. If you don't see this, um, talk to your technology person. It should be right there for you. You're going to select whatever video it is in question. Key thing, you've got to switch over to the video quiz embedded. That way the quiz goes with it. Now, if you had made multiple versions of your quiz for that video, maybe you have like an honors version or a regular version, or maybe you made an eSoul version, whatever, you make sure you pick the correct one that you want to embed and you click embed. Once it does that, it is in. I like to make sure I leave a space ooh, between my video and any words I have on my page just so that they don't get caught up. Now, I added these wrap-up questions. If you don't add wrap-up questions, you can leave this with no submission, but I want to hear kids' response or see kids' responses. You could also do where they can do a media recording so they can respond as well with a video or an audio recording, but I want them to respond to those questions in text. Um, the unlimited, limited your choice, number of attempts, and then you are going to save. Okay, so what it looks like on your end, it has the questions, it has the video. I'm now going to go to student view to show you what it looks like if I was a student viewing your quiz Oh, not that student view. We need to go to assignments. Okay, so when they go to this assignment, it's got my directions, it's got my sample quiz, and then it still has those wrap up questions. That's why I like, oh, sorry, backspace. Um, so if I'm the student and it's loading. Now it's loading really slowly. Let's refresh the page. Okay, so they would hit get started. I am going to mute my volume just so that you don't have to hear it, but it would start playing as it's playing. When they reach that point, it pops up with a question. Let's say I say true. Oh, oh let's try this again. So if the students, let's go back. They're watching the video. They can make it full screen if they want, or they're watching and it pops with the question. If they're not sure, they can click rewatch or they can answer it. And then it's going to keep going. Let's say they choose to they skip ahead. They're like, ah, it's fine. I'm just going to go see the last of it. They're going to keep watching. It's almost over. Oh, this video never ends. 
they're going to skip to the end in their mind and they're like, oh, my teacher will never know. They're going to keep going, it's almost the end, and they make it to the end of their video. Okay, and they then have to hit submit. If they just answer the question and move on and don't hit the submit, it won't count. So they can view their results. They can see, ooh, I didn't get it right. Also, it also shows how long they spent watching the video for real. Um, and then to do those wrap up questions, they would just come up and they would, so I've demoed this before, but they would submit their assignment. They can see the questions and they would respond. So, no, I learned nothing. If that's what they want to write and they can submit their assignment. Now to show you what you get to see now that this is done by a student. Insights, you can see, okay, this test student here, they only, you can see that this test student watched the first five seconds and then watch the last approximately 30 seconds. It shows you directly that they skip this whole middle section, okay? You can also look at the quiz results by any student or the whole group. So I can see their attempt, I can see what they got wrong right there. You have the option to add in captions, so if your YouTube video doesn't come with them automatically, you can upload captions, you can do basically whatever captions you want there. Um, and then to see your students' responses for the short response part, you can come in here to SpeedGrader and you can see and you can grade and give them comments and give them an audio response. But that is how you do it. Hope that helped.